Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to machine these two different parts located in the two machine vices with the same CNC code file. What I'll be setting up is a different work offset for each part. I'll be creating two different toolpaths and include the offset number in each toolpath. Each toolpath is going to be based on an offset number instead of a coordinate position. The CNC operator can run these parts without concern of how the fixtures are positioned on the table. All the operator needs to do is touch off the two parts correctly before running the machine and input each offset position in the CNC control. I'm going to zoom in on the left part and this red point indicates the touch off point for the left part. It's going to zoom back out again and over on the right hand side this red point indicates the touch off point for the right setup. I'm just going to move up to the top of the screen and do a display fit. Now I'm going to be using the view manager to set a view for each fixture and instruct Mastercam which offset is associated with each view. For this video, I will assume that the machine uses G54 to G59 for work offsets. I'm going to use offset G57 for the left fixture and G58 for the right fixture. So let's get started. I'm going to move down to the lower right corner of the screen and on the status bar click on WCS. Next up, I'm going to move into View Manager. Now the two views I'm about to create are in the same plane as top so I'm going to copy top and then change the origin. I've selected top I'm just going to slide over to the left and click on the copy button. Now down at the bottom of the list we've created a new list. I'm going to change the name. I'm just going to click on copy of top and I'm going to change this to G57 left view and hit enter. So we've renamed that duplicate of top. Now just down below in the work offset number what I'm going to do is input 3 in here. Now this tells Mastercam to output a G57. 0 equals G54, 1 equals G55 and 2 equals G56. I can also put in a comment for myself. Offset for left fixture. Now we need to set up the origin for this view. So just moving over to the right in the origin section, I'm going to click on the arrow to select a new origin for this selected view. I'm going to click on it and I'm returned to the graphic screen and prompted to select a point. I'm going to zoom in on this left setup and I'm going to go and pick this red point here. I've picked it and we're returned to the graphic screen and the X, Y and Z values have been updated. So everything looks good. Now what we're going to do is set up the right view and the right view we're going to set up as G58. So as we did before I'm going to click on copy and make a duplicate of copy as you can see at the bottom of the list, copy of top. I'm going to click on this and change the name. I'm going to call it G58 Right View. And just down below in the comments section, I'm going to put in offset for right fixture. Now just above in the work offset number I'm going to input 4 and that will output our G58. Now to set up the origin I'm just going to slide over to the right and click on the arrow. We'll return to the graphics screen. I'm going to do a display fit and zoom in on this right setup. Now the pickup point for this right fixture is this point here. So I've picked it 
and as you can see the X, Y, Z values have been updated. What we're going to do now is go ahead and create the pocket toolpath for the left setup. That's the G57 left view. So what I'm going to do is click on G57, just going to slide over to the right, and in the tool plane common, column, I'm going to pick in that column to activate this view as the tool plane. I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to do a display fit. And let's just zoom in to this pocket. I'm going to move into tool paths now and select pocket. I'm going to accept this name WCS part 4. Now we're prompted to select pocket chain 1 and over on the left the chain in dialog appears with chain set. I'm going to move on over and I'm going to select this line as the first entity in the chain and it successfully captured all the entities around that pocket. To move on to the next stage I'm going to click on OK. Now here we are on the toolpath type page with pocket set. Now I'm going to go and select tool on the left. What I'm going to do is use this three-quarter end mill to machine out the pocket. I'm not going to change any of the feeds and speeds right now. I'm going to move over to the left and click on linking parameters. Now I've got my retract set in absolute. I'm going to change that to incremental and I'm going to leave it set at 0.25. Just down below feed plane is 0.1 and it's an incremental so I'm going to leave as is Top of stock is in absolute set to 0.875 and for the depth I'm going to leave it at absolute and make the depth 0 0.5. Looks good. I'm not going to change anything else. I'm going to click on OK. Let's go ahead now and backplot this first toolpath. Just going to move on up and click on backplot selected operations. Over at the top just going to click on the fit icon and down at the bottom let's hit the play button and check out this first toolpath and there's that uh, pocket finish looks good I'm going to move up to the top right corner and click on the X to close this I'm going to move on up to the top do a display fit and I'm going to zoom in on this right setup. Now we're going to be machining around the contour on this part. So what I need to do is set up the tooling plane for this view. I'm going to move down to the lower right part of the screen and on the status bar click on WCS and next move into View Manager. I'm going to select G58 right view just slide over to the right and then click in the tooling column to activate this as my my tool plane. Next up, I'm going to click on OK, and we're going to start to machine around this contour now. I'm going to go into tool paths, select contour. Now, chaining dialog appears with chain set, and I'm prompted to select contour chain. I'm going to move on down and pick this line here looks good arrows pointing to left so it's going to climb mill around here going to pick OK here we are on the toolpath type page with contour set I'm going to click on tool I'm going to be using this half inch end mill speeds and feeds I'm just going to leave as is I'm going to move on down and click on lead in lead out and I'm going to leave everything as is there over on the left, I'm going to click, click on linking parameters and just check out a few of my values here. So retract is activated, it's absolute and it's set at 0.25. I'm going to change that to 0.5. Down below the feed plane is an incremental, it's set at 0.1. I'm going to leave that as is. Top of stock is absolute 0.375. Depth, I'm going to make absolute and I'm going to set that depth at Point one, and I'm also just going to whip up to the top of the page. Going to activate clearance. It's an absolute. Looks good. 
So everything looks fine here. Our depth is set to 0.1. I'm going to click on OK. Let's now go and check out this second operation using Backplot. I'm going to move on up and click on Backplot Selected Operations. Now here we are in Backplot. And what I'm going to do is just move on down to the bottom of the screen, click on the play button, and let's check out this contour operation. So all looks good here. I'm going to move up to the top right corner and click on the X to exit back plot. Now I'm just going to expand this window. I'm just going to expand it a wee bit more. So check it out. The first pocket operation, it's identified here as G57. And then if you look down for our second op, the contour operation, it's identified it as G58. So all's looking good. Let's go and make some code. I'm going to click on Select All Operations and then pick on G1. I'm going to pick OK and I'm going to save the NC file as WCS Part 4. Now let's go and check out the code. So at block 30 Notice how at block 30 we have the first toolpath, it uses G57. Let's just go and scroll down and identify where the second operation starts. Now if you look at block 400, this is our contour operation, and as you can see it's got G58 here. So the second toolpath uses G58. The origin has been reset for the new origin for this right hand setup. I'm just going to close this up. I'm going to do a display fit. Now that completes this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll be talking with you soon.